Yo, what's up guys? John Boogle here. Today, it is the day for Craze Monaco in-depth guide. Here we go. There is two parts to this level. Of course, the first one is this stage right here. And the second one is the actual fight with Craze Monaco. We're going to go through both of the levels in this guide, starting off with in New York. This level is pretty easy if you do have the right gotcha units. Yes, you will need some gotchas for this. I do recommend taking on this level or this stage. Once you've developed your gotcha units to suit this stage pretty well. The key thing here is to set yourself up for the second fight. Because since this is a two part stage, you could only use one lineup that transfers into the next stage. So you have to kind of optimize your lineup to fit the second stage while also beating the first one. Of course, some heavy replacements I could recommend is Runin Wolf and Bahamut. Both of those can be replaced with better units and or Ubers if you do have them. Also, another very solid unit for this is Can Can or some anti-red proc units. Can Can is kind of risky so I do not fully recommend it because if you do send out Can Can at the wrong time, it will activate a Crazed Monaco wave. Another solid unit for this is iCat. It can help with the boar momentarily while you shred it down in the second part of this stage. But of course we're going with burst damage. As you can see we're using bath. That range is super helpful to avoid the wave attacks by Crazed Monaco. Other solid units for this as you can see is Pizza, Drama Cats and we're using Seafarer as one of the main units and a very key unit is Pole Vaulter since it does have that LD and it is very useful in this stage. The bonus of bringing Pole Vaulter or Housewife is that it's anti-zombie so it does help in the first part of this level. And of course we got ramen and camera both are very solid units for this stage. Especially in the first part of this stage. Camera can help out a bit in the second part. But I don't recommend using ramen in the second part of the stage. As it could trigger crazed monocle waves. But all you really need to do is use ranged anti-red or just shred the board down and stack up a whole bunch of units against Craze Monaco and avoid stalling as much as possible. It is pretty much a wave level so if you play it like any other normal wave level, stack and minimize your stalling then you can pretty much win this pretty easily. That about does it for suggestions I can think of. Also using LD units in this stage does break it pretty heavily and using fest exclusives does break it pretty hard as well. So yeah I do recommend taking on this stage later down the line. Maybe when you have a couple manix and you have developed your gacha units, got a whole bunch of true forms, maybe you have some talents that can help out a lot but it isn't too hard that you'll need talents or need boosts or anything all you need level 30 true forms and that's pretty much it if you have mana cats it can help greatly mana king dragon can pretty much help with everything in this level in the first part and the second part greatly so if you have that it will be pretty nice. Yeah, let's hop into the first stage. It is in New York. This stage is just full of zombie enemies and angel enemies. So ramen is pretty clutch here. Same with camera. It does shred through all the peons. So make sure you are constantly spawning out that camera and ramen. If you want to be overly extra, you can use a research combo if you are struggling to stall with your ramen. Beginning here is very simple you just want to stall as much as possible and stack as much money as you can and ramen is great at doing that. Just make sure you do not over push and hit the base unprepared because that will lead to your death. Now once you have built up a decent amount of cash and your bullets at the max and the hippos are all dead 
that's when you start sending out your attackers. Do not recommend sending out both your Bahamut or Run Run at the same time. I do recommend saving Run Run for a dire situation because you don't want a zombie to just burrow past both of them and start brutalizing the base. So your Run Run is our safety for protecting the cat base so that damn seal doesn't shred it in a matter of seconds. As far as strategy goes, it's very simple. Just spam out camera and ramen as much as possible. You could send out macho every now and then if they are getting pushed back too hard. Also, make sure to keep cycling those dragons because they will stack up and kill the Slipner pretty easily. So if your Bahamut does somehow die, then you can rely on dragon stacking to kill everything else. As you can see, once they do start getting close to the base, our Bahamut is dead. So now it's pretty much time to bring out your Run Run Wolf. Since the seal is coming up and your Run Run can take a knockback and will be safe. So if you do send it out too, too early and your Run Run gets knocked back, but doesn't get in a position where it can protect the base then you are pretty much screwed. So the seal hitting run run behind the base is actually very helpful for this as it allows run run to protect the base while not getting harmed in the process. And after that it's pretty much just camera spam, ramen spam and dragon stacking to victory. The seal phase is pretty much the only hard part of this level. So once you get that down, this is pretty easy and you can pretty much sweep through this every time. If you're really struggling with those zombies, of course you can use something like Ecto Weight and other anti-zombie units to help. But keep in mind, it will slow down the fight in the second part of this level. But yeah, make sure you are properly prepared for this stage. If you have some nice ubers, you can sweep through this pretty easily. So you won't need as much gacha true forms if you have ubers and if you don't have much gacha true forms and don't have that many good ubers then you're gonna have to rely on level 30 manix or craze cats. Very solid time to do this stage is when you're getting ready or in progress or even after all the manix stages because then you probably do have some developed gacha units and you'll pretty much be safe in this level because it is pretty much gacha carry in this level so if you have some of these gacha units and you have them true form you are pretty much safe but yeah let's head on into the second part of this level which is the easy part now the starting is pretty much the same stack up as much money as you can while not trying to over push. Now if you have a low level bath, definitely start stacking them up right now since it will help burst down the boar when it does come out and you want to take out the boars as fast as possible so you have opportunity to just demolish the craze monaco when it's alone. If you are using the LD method and you're stacking up proc units against the boar and letting your LD units hit Craze Monaco and take a route before the boars, you can do that as well. Once you think you are ready, you can start stacking up. Once again, you do not need a max wallet and maxed out money. You just have to make sure you don't hit the base too early. But as you can see, we have a decent stack built up, so we are prepared to hit the base. And you're probably wondering why I'm not using Cyborg in this level. The reason I'm not using Cyborg is because mine is too boosted for this stage and it does overwhelm it pretty heavily. But if you have Cyborg, definitely use it. Even though Seafarer's Survive the Lethal Strike ability does help greatly, and also the extra proc chance against the aliens in this level though the aliens don't pose that big of a threat but yeah like i said in the beginning of the guide once monaco comes out limit stalling as much as possible or don't do it at all and then just stack up all your units against crazed monaco a very cheesy way to do this level is using a bahamut and cool japan 
and just stacking up pure burst damage to constantly knock back Craze Monaco since it is very easy to knock back Craze Monaco and if you get her in this knockback lock and continuously knock back Craze Monaco you can kill her in a matter of seconds but it's nothing too crazy stack up your bat cats or whatever anti raid units for the boar and just all hell shred the craze monaco as much as you can and do not let it hit that third hit in its multi attack you do not want to activate those crit waves they are very deadly but yeah that's pretty much why i use bath for this stage because it does stack up against craze monaco and it is pretty great for not triggering the craze monaco waves so stuff like can can and other things that are closer range is very risky so bath cat is the way to go since you can stack them up and it also does shred the boar very quickly there we go craze monaco is dead once again a pretty easy stage once you have the right strategy down i'd say the first stage is harder than this part since borrowing zombies can screw you over if you don't handle them properly unless you have holy blast then you could pretty much just sweep the first stage as well but yeah that's pretty much it for this guide drop a like if this guide did help you out subscribe if you're new join the hashtag google gang go in the description below and join the google discord there's monthly nitro giveaways there and we're closing in on 300 members as well so go join it'll be pretty hype and yeah let me guys know if you need some help on this stage you could always come to the discord or just go down in the comments and I don't see much of an issue in this level but if you do have an issue make sure to comment it down below or go in the discord but yeah that's it guys it's been John Boogle and see ya